everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. Day 12. So let's dive into opening up my calendars before we directly switch to the Generation 1 My Little Pony haul. If you're not into Christmas and not into Disney pins or other little toy goodies, uh, step ahead a couple of minutes, like maybe 8 to 10 minutes or something. Um, but if you're also here for Vlogmas, let's start with my Disney pin advent calendar. Disney mystery pin advent calendar. And yesterday, 11, where's the 12? Ah, here. Ah, okay, I cannot tell what that is. Could be another shoe, though. Disney villains shoe streak I think one two three four five I think that's just two more because I think there was seven or six but this time it's Hades so it's actually the first shoe based on a male villain Wow flames skull Yeah, right, before we had like the Evil Queen, um, Maleficent, Ursula and um, uh, Cruella yesterday. All female villains. I mean, are there maybe in general more female villains in Disney? I don't know. I should check that, but no, there's also Jafar and all those characters. So, no, they are also male villains. Um, and Hades. Uh, Hades is a cool villain. <laughs> um, like Hercules in general is an amazing movie. I I do not have really like um, a nostalgic feelings for it because when I was a child, I mean it would have been my time, right? It was out in ninety seven, I think Hercules from ninety seven or something. So it would have been my time. But for some reason, I don't know. I never watched that one. I didn't have it on VHS. I think the one after that was Mulan. I was obsessed with it. And I don't know which one was before, maybe Pocahontas or something, I don't know what exactly, which I also loved. So I don't know why I never watched uh, um, uh, Hercules, but it's amazing, it's so funny. It's like, I, I, I love that movie now uh, without the nostalgia. Um, and Hades is, yeah, he's hilarious. Once again, nice design, still Nothing can beat my favorite shoe design yet, which is this one. <laughs> yeah, the swirl here that looks a lot like the, the typical um, Hercules movie style. Okay, let's continue with the okay small advent, a uh, small toy advent calendar here. Well, this is actually I don't know why this has nothing to do with the calendar. Uh, Eleven. 23, no. <laughs> ah, here. 12. Oh! I'm feeling some sticker sheets or something. Yeah! And something else. Oh! A baby bottle. So, oops, no, that's not high enough. Yeah, now you can see me. Yay! So I have some more sticker sheets from Chika White. I have, uh, I, I had uh, one sticker sheet already in the beginning of uh, the opening of the calendar, uh, which showed um, Polly Pocket inspired pins. And these are, I would say, not just inspired. Let's open up one of them because it's twice uh, the same sheet um, and I got two of them because I don't know maybe I want to include them also when I send little um, you know packages to people when I like like when I trade toys or something I don't know 
um, that's why I got two of them and they are really not um, that expensive. Oh no. So once again, uh, Chikawai, that's her Etsy name. She has a small shop and uh, she's from the Canary Islands, so that's still Europe. So that's why um, shipping and everything for me was pretty inexpensive. And she has amazing, like especially like um, stickers and uh, little small pieces, um, miniature cartons that look like toy cartons, or um, also pins, etc. So. And these are not just Polly Pocket inspired, I would say. I would definitely say. So these are really not just inspired, but they show the heads of the um, uh, pet parade compacts of Polly Pocket. So the dog, the horse, cat, and the koala. A little bit stylized, obviously, and in her own cutesy style. Uh, let's uh, get out the compacts and uh, compare them. So here's the koala. Obviously it's a little bit stylized, a little bit simpler, but uh, I love it so much. Here is the kitty cat with the eyebrows, <laughs> which I always find a little bit hilarious, <laughs> but it looks very cute. The pony, obviously my favorite, and to be honest, I think the drawing looks even cuter than the real one because this is a little bit strange uh, when you turn it like this then obviously there's an eye missing and this part is not that cute uh, or not as cute as the sticker is but uh. and the dog that could also be a bear but I'm 100% sure it's a dog because it's dog themed inside <laughs> And what about this bottle? This is a Generation 1 My Little Pony baby bottle. It is one of the super simple like small ones. There are also bigger ones and there are completely different ones which you can put water inside for the, um, for the, um, for the drinking wet baby ponies. But this is one of the super simple ones that came actually <sighs> Yeah, always with the newborns. So with the newborn twins, they always in had included like two of these bottles. Then um, um, also the, the single release newborn, so like baby yo-yo, etc. So all of them had these bottles. And you can see that this one is a little yellowed. And I specifically bought this yellowed one because I want to try. Uh, I want to try if you can also retro bright these because then um, and obviously when, when they are yellowed, it's like they are cheaper. <laughs> um, if that's an easy thing to do, which I think it is, um, and maybe I show you that in a very short video. Not, not today, not today though, but uh, yeah. So super duper lovely gifts in my advent calendar today. And now, oh, now we will see a super duper awesome video, hopefully, <laughs> because it's my, um, my Little Pony Generation 1 unboxing video. I haven't done one in a while, so let's have fun with that. And from this perspective here, see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, now here. Welcome back to my channel. I mean, you've had the introduction, but I'm filming this another day than what I filmed before in the Vlogmas introduction. So, welcome to this My Little Pony Generation 1 unboxing. Whew. I haven't done one in a while. Actually, I think the last G1 ponies that I unboxed here in front of the camera were the ones that I got for my birthday, so late October. And also this today is not a huge haul. And I think this also will not happen very often anymore that I have like huge G1 pony hauls because I'm at a point in my like collection where there are not so many like common G1s left for me. Still, there are some more. I do not have a Glory, I don't have Seashell, I don't have Minty. There are some normal versions like of, I don't know, Windy or whatsoever that I need or some of the other ponies, sure. But most often now when I go online, search for ponies, it's just like, oh, I have that one, I already have that one, I already have that one. And the ones that I don't have are very expensive. <laughs> so. I cannot get too many of them all the time. 
So that's also why today's video, there are actually, like from my perspective, I can only show you very special ponies. All of them are very special, some of them very thought after. It's, it's crazy. Um, and let's start with actually one package here that was sent to me by a subscriber. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, this is actually, yeah, you know, maybe uh, her from the comments, Sarah Hawk. Oh, Hawk, I don't know how you pronounce uh, her name. Uh, she's from the US and she is like commenting very often uh, on my videos and we've also connected a little bit on um, Instagram. She's also a toy collector and well, she's from the US, so she can also go thrifting like in, in stores like um, Goodwill, etc. And one day she wrote me that she found something at Goodwill a pony she already has her and i don't so she sent her to me in this box she said well it might be a late birthday present but right now it could also be an early christmas present or what so thank you so much so i know what should be in here so let's open it up So here's a little card. Dear Lau, so happy to be the, co the conduit between you and... <laughs> conduit. I don't know that word. Yeah, I'm not a native speaker. Yeah, so... <laughs> um, uh, heart Sarah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I probably... I, I can translate that obviously. I know what, what it means, but I don't know that exact word. So she has been the connection point between me and that pony. I want to have a big reveal. Ta-da! This is Goldilocks. She wrote Goldie between you and Goldie. Oh my gosh, oh, she's such a lovely pink tone. She's, oh, she has been a little bit of a grail pony for me, but she's very hard to come by over here. And Sarah found her while thrifting at Goodwill. Can you guess what the price was? 49 cents. Like, yeah, I wish these these thrift stores would have been existing here. I don't know what, oh, because Goldilocks actually is a, a mail order pony. Yeah, she, she, so there's no way you could have like uh, gotten her here in Europe. So mail order ponies, that meant you had to send in one of, uh, not one, but several and a little bit of money when you collected those horseshoe points. And that mail order system was just available in the US from my knowledge um, and that's why she's very very rare so I would say apart from like there are some other um, sweetheart sister ponies that were not released here but she definitely like whenever she goes up here uh, on used sites or eBay she she's not a cheap pony I think in the US she's not one of the most thought after um, mail orders she's from year eight so year eight mail order that's like 89 90 in the middle towards the end um, but but she was released uh, in the year where a lot of other mail orders were released and i guess she's pretty common for a mail order i don't know but uh, i i love the uh, sweetheart sister ponies and like this is i don't know i've, I've Sometimes I've said this already, but this is my favorite combination color-wise of, of like ponies. A lovely like bonbon pink body and then yellow hair. Now, she's not in the best condition and I knew that. I wonder what has happened to her, yeah. Um, actually, from what I see, it seems that there's... Wow, what, what is that? That there's actually just... Um, one of the colors in there because she is actually she has got two-toned hair so one 
color that's very like yellow sunny yellow bright and one that's a little bit more golden yellow and all of the golden yellow streaks have like crumbled off and when i when i you can rip that out i don't know what's happened here so she will definitely need a new like new hair and i'm not sure if i can rescue like these parts here and these are I, it could it could be like these are pretty normal but the other ones yeah let, let me show that to you up close so at first she is a fairy tale themed pony yeah so goldilocks and the three bears fairy tale and here you can see the bear and the uh, oh my god Brei, uh, the, the stuff that they eat that's part of the fairy tale what's it called porridge thing <laughs> um, and um, yeah so so that's actually also why I think for me she's a little bit like the small like the tiny Rapunzel a little bit like Rapunzel is the most expensive the most thought after mail order pony ever and this like Rapunzel is also themed after a fairy tale also pink body and curly yellow hair so that's why like she is a little bit of a like she's like my little Rapunzel but look at that hair man she is actually supposed to have curly hair so that's her original um, uh, factory curl and those streaks are pretty okay here and then those here in between so the more um, golden ones you can you can rip that off what what is that it's really strange I mean let's do that with this here I've never had pony hair that is this quality what has happened to it is it really just a bad hair quality let, let, let's do it again because I I have to rehair it anyways <laughs> Sarah has already told me about this so it's I don't know as if it has been melted and I don't I have no idea did you ever any of you have ever had this experience with pony hair like I never experienced that um, but <laughs> she goes into my pile of ponies that I have to rehair but I'm pretty sure I will um, I can, um, give her new hair pretty soon because I'm really excited about her <sighs> Goldilocks now let's get to a pony that I actually have taken out of the shipping box and have given my um, spa day pony treatment already because I could not wait that's why she's not in the box anymore. Here she is. Another perfume puff pony. And this is Daisy Sweet. I got her pretty uh, shortly after um, I unboxed the other two ponies for my birthday because at my birthday I have gotten like myself um, two, like my very first two perfume puff ponies. Perfume puff ponies are also pretty rare. They were not released in Germany. I think they were released in the UK, so you still can get them, but they are pretty expensive. Nyx. And um, so I, I got like the other two each for 40 euro, which is a lot in my books, like spending for ponies. And um, but they are really in good condition. And very shortly after that, I saw her and she was also on uh, eBay Kleinanzeigen, so eBay Classifieds and she was not in a good condition at all so I was really like thinking about it. the seller also I think it started with 40 euro and um, but I followed this listing and then whenever uh, the person like uh, reduces the price then you get a little message and then it was uh, for a while it was 80 38 euro and then she was at 36 euro and then I was like okay I think this is like what what she looked like is I can restore her let's get her for 36 euro I want her I want to have more perfume puff body ah oh, this hair um I have uh like 
a little bit, I've not really done a huge video about it, but I've documented the process of what I did to her. So let's switch to that footage right now. Now here you can see the condition she came in. So tail rust, uh, rust, I tried to show it from the inside. Um, like some spots, but body wise, um, not the worst. The head pretty discolored though, pretty grayish, darker than the body. And um, I don't know what that exactly was, but at the roots of her mane, also very, very dark. Maybe also rusty. Um, I, I got that off afterwards without removing it, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was rust or just mold or something. Uh, there you can see head and body pretty different color wise. So the head pretty, as I said, grayish, greenish uh, and darker than the body. And it was so difficult to remove the tail because the whole fluffy thing to get through the um, through the small um, hole there, mm, there you can see how exactly how rusty it was from the inside. This is the tail. Um, I always get that off with you the, using um, acetone. Here everything's already washed and the hair is still wet and I'm just using a little bit of highlighter yellow to um, to re-yellow the hair because this pony actually came with yellow hair. So just very gently, not too much, but uh, with these highlighters you can definitely color pony's hair. <laughs> just distributing it a little bit with my fingers. And then as this uh, hair is actually pretty um, yeah, difficult to dry, it dries very slowly. I wanted to dry it via really the hair dryer, the blow dryer to not put anything back together um, still with wet hair. And then I combed it through with a really, really um, fine brush. And um, yeah, it's really fluffy again. I cut it evenly. Maybe it's a little bit shorter than it should be, but no rust anymore. And really fluffy again at uh, the tail. A little bit more yellow. I didn't overdo it with the yellow, but a little bit yellow in the mane. And yeah, very fluffy mane. What I didn't show is that I actually also did my retro briding technique. So Salon 40 cream, uh, so hydrogen, perx hydrogen peroxide on the pony and then in the sun. Um, so to get the head the correct color again. And you saw also the roots of the mane are not brown anymore. So you saw it, she had tail rust, her mane, everything looked like club together her head and body had like were different colors so the head was discolored very dark um and overall she was rusty inside and ilks but i think she came out pretty well so obviously as all of the um, perfume puff ponies she is themed around perfume or things in the bathroom a spa whatever like and her symbol is this um, perfume flacon bottle <laughs> and her hair is actually supposed to be more yellow but the hair this is special hair that it's supposed to look like this of the perfume puff ponies um, it kind of fades over time. So the two ponies that I already have, one of them has still very blue hair. The other one came with white hair anyways. So, but um, the ones that have pink hair, they fade and there's the one that has the green hair and she is supposed to have yellow hair. You can still see the yellow and it is not super strong yellow from the beginning. Like um, she, the ponies are already a little bit white in the hair. I have, as you've seen in the video, re re-yellowed it a little bit on camera it comes not very um, comes not through very well it's a little bit more yellow in person than what i can see in the viewfinder right now but yeah and then she has this little forelock here that's normal hair so the perfume puff ponies are from year seven one of in my opinion the best one of the best pony years and um so that's 88 to 89 my dream of getting another perfume puff pony actually fulfilled <laughs> itself, no, not itself, but uh, pretty pretty quickly. I did not think that I would get another one for like this short amount of this short amount of time, but now I have three 
wonderful perfume puff ponies in my display and they are ah oh, she's not no i think she just smells from the um from the hydrogen hydrogen oxid oxygen you you know what the salon 40 cream mine has a little bit of a smell to it but other than that they are actually supposed to be scented let's get to another package small envelope simple pony got a lovely one this is bluebell not Bluebell from uh, the very first pony set. So another collector's post. Bluebell. She is just sharing. She's just sharing the name with her. Although I think it's written a little bit different. So this she is really written in one word. Bluebell, not blue bell. Anyways, uh, she is one of the flower ponies. So one of the uh, European exclusive ponies that are more from the end of the pony line, but but not super late. So they are they are not one of the very rare. Um, super late uh, European exclusives. No, she's from year 8, so that means 89 till 90. Um, and every now and then I tend to get one of those flower ponies. To me they are not the most exciting pony set. Uh, they're definitely ones that I could pass up, but I'm not. Um, because they kind of getting pretty expensive right now. And whenever I see one that's for a good affordable price, then I'm picking it up. She was 12, so that's that's very much in, in line with what I like to pay for ponies. Um, her hair is cut though, so you can see that it's more like a, she she. I mean, she she does not have like super long hair or what, but I would say it's cut maybe four centimeters or something. Same with the tail. Um, for now, I will probably, this will not probably be one of the first ponies that I will rehair. I could do that, that's a very common pony hair color, easily I have that, but um, she also looks okay like this right now. Um, I think I'm just missing one of those ponies, yeah, um, Daffodil is missing from me. The other two I have, all of them, no, one of them is also not in a very good condition, but yeah. All of the flower ponies, or in German they were called Vergiss my nicht ponies, um, have these very nice flower symbols. All of the all of all the ponies um, have the symbol also and the matching name to it. So, bluebell. Um, other than that, nothing very special about them. No gimmick. No like different different color uh, hairs. Just different color hairs. What's that? Different hair colors. Just one one tone hair color and no glitter, no special um, um, accessories or anything. Just a very simple pony set and I know that that's what a lot of people also like about those. Same like the cookery ponies or the school time ponies. They are more simple, um, more like the first ponies uh, from the first years. So that's what, what kind of makes them very beloved by a lot of people. Okay. What is this box here? Ooh. Do I really want to show that to you already? I think this is, to me, I mean, yeah, I also say this is a grail and oh my goodness, another perfume puff and uh, there's more great stuff in there, but this is also kind of a grail to me. I mean, the, the word or the term grail is a little bit like, how do you define that? But this is something that I really, really, really want to have. She's also not in the best condition. You know that. I cannot buy ponies that are hundreds of euro, or I mean, maybe I could, but then I, I I'm just not. <laughs> This is one of the German variants of the princess ponies. Yeah, she is definitely not very white, but also she is pretty dirty. So I 
I wonder if when I really really scrub her off and everything she might not become super white but she will definitely look not as great as she does now and then I can try um, uh, I don't know one part of, of, uh, of her body that's not very visible if I can also put her uh, under like with UV uh, under the UV light or just because there's not really sunlight outside but um, to get her back to her normal color by like um, retro briding her <sighs> what what does that mean German variant yeah uh, she is one of the princess ponies that you might know already we took out the normal variant of her um, princess Tiffany and princess Tiffany or in uh, the UK version princess Pearl and in German then princess and Perle she is one of the first um, set released princess ponies so there are two sets of princess ponies the first one's actually pretty common uh, a lot of different releases but a lot of different variants also uh, actually from year six or seven i think six let's check that already wow 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 five i'm sorry then that's year 86 to 87 and um, for some reason I don't know why, but Germany had different releases. These normal variants were also released in Germany. You find them here all the time, so these were probably the more common ones also in Germany. But some releases had different hair colors. So you can see she's got a yellow mane, um, same color of tinsel, but yeah, a different hair color and this is not just rehaired this is real i can feel i can see that um, nobody would rehair a pony and then because the hair is not really well maintained to be honest every single one of these six first set princess ponies has a german variant and as i'm from germany this is something that i would like to have i'm like in terms of variants i would really like to have the german princess pony variants and there are also German variants of the um, Rainbow Ponies, the first Rainbow Ponies and also not just variants but there are even two ponies uh, from the set Raindrop and Nightlight, Ringtopf and Nachtlicht, which are German exclusive. So as <laughs> my heritage is German, I'm from Germany, I would really like to have some ponies that resemble that, that, that part of pony history. And she's got my first one now. You see, all of those ponies are pretty special here, so that's not just a, oh, another baby pony or something, like all of them are really like, maybe her, I'm not so excited about her than about the others yet, but like, and all of them were not super like cheap, I mean she was super cheap, but <laughs> that's, that's a different story. What do we have here? What is this? Mit den Ponys. Liebe Grüße. So now that's not from someone that I know, but um, it's nice to have a little note from the seller. Also, again, the purchase on <laughs> eBay Kleinanzeigen. That's like eBay classified. So it's, it's just has the eBay name in it, but it's really like a Facebook market, marketplace, or like offer up site like this. Um, and this was a listing that I was watching for a very 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 long time um, just because I was not really settled on do I want to have this do I do I really because those ponies are kind of bold again so they don't have hair so I have to rehair them and I have a huge lot of ponies that I have to rehair um, but then in the end I could not resist because actually they were so cheap and they have a lot of accessories so let's get to all of that. What's in here? Ah. One little baby pony, Yugor twin. And yeah, there is the other twin. So you can already see, um, not in the best condition, not a lot of hair is left. This one is rattling. Um, but actually these teeny, like, not the teeny tiny, but these uh, newborns are 
pretty quick to rehair. You saw that in one of like my last videos that it actually does not take a lot of time. Um, and this is actually the big plus point. They're almost complete, <laughs> which is really, really rare for those ponies. So they are called Big Top and Toppy. Uh, Big Top is, I think, the white one, and Toppy is the yellow one. In German, uh, just tip and top. And they come with all sorts of accessories. So they have both of their bare brushes. They have one baby bottle. Actually, they came with two because it's two. Obviously, that's missing. And here is the box of diapers. And the diaper is still inside. I think there were actually also two diapers because it's two baby ponies, but I don't care at all. <laughs> um, and then there's one spoon. Actually, there would have been two spoons and one little plate. That's missing, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's easy to get. Um, sometimes you, you find those plates. And there are two original pony ribbons. Uh, I could not find out if these are really the colors that went to these ponies. Um, but it's very likely, right? Because she has all of the stuff still here. I could not see that because uh, on my little wiki it said there are two um, different colored ribbons. But then again, who knows the German um, packaging. I could not see what ribbons in, the, in there. Maybe Euro, in Europe they came with these colors. I have no idea. And then there is this little set box. So like almost complete, like one diaper, one bottle, one spoon and the little uh, plate is missing. Oh, these, these newborn babies are the cutest. Here we've got Big Top, what a name. And um, both of them have these little clown dolls as uh, their symbols. So Big Top and Toppy. So they have like the opposite in their colors. So this is white with yellow hair. This is yellow with white hair. Hmm, I think actually she also had pink hair. Uh, I will see that when I rehair her and uh, I have to look it up again. But I think she actually also had the fading pink, but it could be that it is white again, white from the beginning. Sometimes I am also mistaken, so don't quote me on that. Here's the little sandbox. Uh, a, li uh, a couple of uh, baby ponies came with these accessories. So the sandbox thing, it is really molded like that they are the foot or the hoof steps. Hoof steps? I don't know what they are called. A little shovel is in there. And it is really beautifully made. Then we have the yellow bear brush. We have the light purple bear brush. This one I already have, but this one I don't. Then we have these super fun diapers. This is really a box with um, Windel box, so like Windel is the German word for diaper, with some instructions. And here's the baby pony in front, and there are diapers inside, and they have little Velcro, and you can put them on the pony. And then there is this little bottle, and this tiny spoon. So, and guess what the price of all of this was? 18 euro. Um, like, I, I cannot argue with that. And this listing was already up for a couple of months. So nobody wanted them because obviously they are already, like they're almost bold. So you have to uh, take a little bit of love and uh, time invested into them, invested in them, and but then they will be amazing again. So, Woo. two more packages. So let's start with I don't know what's this here. This long flat one. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. 
I remember like opening up this because I'm always like already open up what it kind of is so I know what has already arrived and then I was like what's that did someone sent me these uh, kitchen uh, where uh, kitchen utensil things to fear beutel so like uh, baggies in which you can uh, freeze your your food or what what is that like and then I had a look inside because it does not look like there would be a pony in there right it's not the right shape for a pony but it is a pony <laughs> when I saw this then I was like ah now it makes sense can you already guess what this is? Yeah, it's the shape of a pony. I'm not kidding. It's not a baby pony. It's an adult pony. It's a sea pony. Ah, sorry, that was my phone. Um, there is an eBay auction that I'm trying to, uh, I'm following and I have set some alarms, but I bet in the next couple of minutes it will ring again. Anyways, um, it's a sea pony. Yeah, this is, I'm just like, oh, what should I tell you about? Because sometimes I'm telling you I'm not so much into the sea ponies and that's actually true. But, oh, this, like, oh, this head. Super, super sweet. This is, Let's check on the name. I'm not that good with sea pony names. Surf dancer. Yeah, surf dancer. Or in German, Plitschplatsch. I can remember that. That's the strangest name. Um, she, he, she, she is actually from the only set of sea ponies, like adult sea ponies, that have been released in Europe. I don't think that she has been released in Germany. Um, although she has a German name because of the pony magazines, um, but the, um, the they were definitely released in the UK. So uh, and the set consists of just of three ponies, um, one of them or two of them, pretty much the same as in the US, like Wave Dancer, Wave, wave Breaker, just a little bit different colored accessories. But I think there is not a pony in the US uh, released that looks like this with a blue body and a yellow mane and actually of course she's missing everything the sea ponies the adult sea ponies actually came with a giant shell like bottom and top and then there was a place where you could put them so they would really stand up they would have a suction cup at the back to put it on your wall in your bathroom because they were bath toys they have a really heavy like metal thing down here in the tail uh, so that when you would put them in water they would really float and that's beautiful but that's also the reason why a lot of them from the inside are really moldy because uh, sure they're meant to be played with in the bathtub but still they're leaking water in there and yeah uh, let's I don't know how this one will be probably will open up the head and have a look uh, but I was super surprised that I got this pony it was an eBay auction and whenever these ponies go up for auction I'm always thinking like oh they will be probably very expensive um, the truth is I won this pony for 12 euro mm, are the sea ponies not that thought after anymore I don't know I think the reason is that she has this red thing here in her hair probably someone with a marker or something as I have not taken her out of the box obviously until now I've not tried to get this off maybe I can get this off anyways with um, some um, acetone or something uh, if not then I will just um, rehair this part here this little bit take this out and then put new yellow hair in look at this lovely face it's still a little bit unsettling to have a real pony head and then with a seahorse body. They don't have any symbols. They just have a little bit of a painted fin here. Um, and obviously they have no tail. <laughs> they just have this swirl here. As I said, this is very heavy here. And they have this uh, mane. So this is a surf dancer or pitch clutch. And yeah, they actually have this hole here. So the water could get out again. 
but still a lot of the sea ponies are very moldy inside. Definitely not very easy to display if you don't have the shells, but to be honest, if I would have the shells, it would be even more difficult to display them. There is the eBay auction again. I got the pony live here. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not telling you what this pony is and I'm trying in two days to get another pony from this seller, but um, yeah, I won the eBay auction. The only person who bid on it. Um, yeah, let's get to the last pony here, or the last box, because from what I think, if I remember which ponies are missing, it's actually two. One pony and one other animal. Hmm. This was also so exciting. Again, on eBay. So some of the, well, no, yeah, this was on eBay. Uh, the rest was on eBay Kleinanzeigen. But somehow I have the, the um, feeling that on eBay you can get really lucky with prices nowadays. Um, this was one of the cases. Can you already see what's in there? Baby Pony and Pretty Pearl, Baby Nectar and Baby Stripes. <gasps> so that's what I meant with one pony and one other animal, because Baby Nectar actually is not a pony. It's a little panda bear. It's a little pastel blue panda bear and Baby Stripes belongs to it. <sighs> This is one of my favorite, like from one of my favorite sets, the Baby Pony and Pretty Pals. They always came with one of their companions. In German, the, the, this kind of uh, pony set, they were called um, Baby Pony mit Spielfreund. And I had one of the sets when I was little, like Baby Fleecy and Wooly, so the little sheep. And I also already have um, Baby uh, Pockets and Hoppy, so the kangaroo. And this is my third set and they are very thought after and if you just go online and try to find them in general like people definitely want at least 60 for the set of both of them sometimes you can get lucky have one of them for cheaper but it's it's then so hard to find the other one so i'm just only willing to to get them as a, as a couple already um, and Guess what? I got them together for, I, I don't want to lie, but I think it was 25. Um, yeah, and I was not the only person bidding on it, but still, it did not went, go up so high. So, um, oh, it was 30, oh, or it was 30 including shipping. I don't remember exactly, but it was around that. So it's half, definitely half of it what they normally go for. And, they come with some accessories as well. So they're in really, really, really good condition. Here's one little spot at the leg. Here I cannot see anything that would bother me at all. Oh, so cute. Um, <laughs> it's the same. That's why I, I was saying, yeah, there were a couple of ponies that came with this uh, thing here with these accessories. Yeah, the baby pony and pretty pals had also quite an range always of accessories that came with them. And here we see the same scent box. It's exactly, mm, the color could be tiny bit different, but it could also just be from over time. I think this one is a little bit more pinkish than this is a little bit more purpley. And here's a little comb, a little ducky comb that came with it. I'm not sure if I have this one already because I have a lot of duck combs already and I really like them. Could be that I don't have this exact yellow color. Need to check on that. But yeah, I don't need to show that to you again. It's actually the same mold as the one that we just had of the little um, uh, newborns here. But oh my gosh, this, this set is also from year seven. No, 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 I'm correct. Year seven. Oh, that's what I meant. 
stand up really easy to just stand up. Uh, year seven, one of the best pony years <laughs> because they also had the baby ponies and pretty pelts in it. So baby stripes is the pony. Uh, the theming is obviously like um, honey and, and bees and all that stuff. So these little bees here as the symbol. She has white hair and that is absolutely correct. So, so she's not the fading pink hair, she has white hair. And she has a really interesting eye color. I didn't even see that. She's got brown eyes. I don't know any other pony that has brown eyes. I mean, except for baby Nectar here. Yeah, kind of the same symbols, a little bit bigger because they are not on a pony butt, but they're on a panda butt and no um, brushable tail. Just this little lock of hair here, this forelock, which is also, I mean, it's brushable, but it's not something that you typically would brush a lot and you would do something with. But oh, this sweet face. And the, and, um, the color is actually white and all the blue parts are painted on. So this is also something that we don't have I think in any other pony that bigger parts of the body are actually really painted. So the ears, everything around, the eyes, this color here and the legs. <sighs> Guys, that's everything. That's all the ponies that I want to show you today. I'm so incredibly thankful that I still, although it's not that easy to get so many ponies from me anymore, that I have this kind of, kind of a big, it's still a big hole actually, right? Because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ponies. I mean, these came in, these come in doubles, but, um, and a lot of accessories. And I'm always really stoked to have some real pony ribbons. My goodness, a German princess, one of the sets of the baby pony and pretty pals, a sea pony, Goldilocks. Oh no, now everything falls over. And a perfume puff. Like, oh my gosh, which one of these is your favorite? I, like, I can, cannot decide. I mean, just from the factor of grayish ponies, I have to say probably these two. But it's it's like an array of wonderful, wonderful ponies. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me opening up all of these shipping boxes and showing you the ponies. So if you enjoy that, give it a thumbs up and. Um, you can always uh, go back to all of my pony unboxings. I have a full playlist of that. I will uh, link that down below or here if you want to just dabble into what when I started because most of the ponies that I have in my collection you will find in those videos. So uh, if you enjoy all of that, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you have not. And thank you for watching. See you real soon and may the ponies be with you. Bye!